All right. Today, I am working on the Land Rover, putting on new radius arms. Came last week. Got one pulled out here. Let's see. There it is. That's the old one. I already got the one side put in over here. But I didn't do an intro to the video, so I'm doing it. And now you can see the beautiful weather. This is like training for <laughs> when you're out in the woods and the rain is coming and you have to work on your car anyway. It's pretty much a Land Rover thing. Good thing I put these tarps out, huh? Haha, <laughs> I'm soaking wet already. Anyway, all right, I got one down. I'm going to put the other one in. And I can't wait to drive her and see how she does. Alright. Alright, I got these new ones and old one, one of the old ones laid side by side here. You can see I got the bolts in here lining up these front holes perfectly. And then you can see the difference here in the back where he where uh, Bill puts in this correction to the rate of the caster that affects the caster basically re repositions the front axle this way essentially so uh, there you go and you can see that let's put this thing in all right we are underneath my d2 I'm getting ready to install my new radius arms from overtime fabrication Try to show you what we're dealing with. Here's one of the mount holes right here. This goes up in there like that. Big bolt right here. You can see that light in the background messing me up, but uh, yeah. So I just stuck the. It goes all the way through here. Comes out over here, right there. And then here's where it mounts. And that little space. Like that. And then you can see the hole on the other side. There it comes out. All right, so you detach it from there. And then down here on the axle side. You have these tabs on the axle housing itself, the two holes there, and you can see here where it was mounted. I pulled it off. It actually came out pretty easy. I had to break the back one loose with a breaker bar, but my impact got the others. So there's that. So I figured out it won't fit around my steering. So I'm going to have to pop this baby off right here so I can pull this one out and put the new one in. Oh yeah, and this little line was zip tied to the thing so I'll cut that. So uh, let's see if I can get to busy on this thing right here. So let's wrap this one up and I'll make another video of taking this off. All right, I've gotten the bolt loose here, and now I need to bust to break this apart. It's tapered, and so it holds on real tight after you tighten it down. It's by design, of course. So we're going to try the uh, old hammer technique, strike it right here, and hopefully that'll pop it off. So I never, I want to do my best to be the hammer guy and the camera guy. So we'll see how this works. All right. All right, that looks like, I see that pretty good. There it goes. So, oh, I might have been out earlier, but the weight of this was on the little bar, so I couldn't tell that I had already busted it loose. All right, let's get this out of the way. 
Man, if only I had a third hand. Let's see. And so I could film. Oh, I gotta finish taking off here. Uh, all else fails, you can hammer that, but I didn't want to. I don't really feel like putting a new tie right in on today. I'll save that for another day. Finish this up. It's very tight here, too, because I got the 16 inch wheels instead of the 18s. This thing is really tight on the 04s. I guess it's the same on other axles. I'm not. All I know is what I got here. So, all right. Get this up. Let's see if we got room. If we get that out of there. Yep. Just spin that around. that moving on okay I have the front bolt in here all right this was this one won't line up yet because I, I can't pull it up more it goes in back here and as you can see oh, come on. there we go as you can see these bolt holes won't line up just yet I'm going to have to go to the other arm over here. Right here. And lower it down. Which should bring the whole axle housing around like this. Allowing this bolt hole. And this bolt hole to line up so that's what I want to do now if it's all the same to you I want to use both hands this time okay okay we are back here I've got this thing resting on me my belly and I've taken this bolt out let this sit on the jack and you know just to secure it and it's actually I can move that with my hand and if you watch let's, let's show what it does here over here when I do that oh shit I don't think you can see it here let me see that I can do that with my hand and that's essentially what we're doing we're rotating that axle housing down so it was here when it's mounted but up it's higher than that but that's all I can push and then come down you can see the new position uh, we're going to have with the axle housing relative to the vehicle all right so let's get these bolts in she is. Luckily, I have a big belly. I can stick that right there. Boom. There's that. Now, I should be able to manipulate the jack and essentially crank this up by moving this thing. Up and down. Oh, you, can't see. you get the point though. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna jack the jack up, which should raise the axle housing, allowing this to go in. I can push it in a little bit. Maybe I can. I don't know. Let me. It's just a little more weight than I can do with one hand. So let me go and jack it up. And we'll, and we'll come back. Okay, now we're back. I jacked the other radius arm up. It brought me a lot closer over here. There you go, you can see now. And now what I gotta do, because the whole axle housing has moved 
here and there. I can take the leverage of the tire on here and rotate this. See how it's moving well, uh, forward to back. That's me turning the wheel and doing that. So I really need two hands, but essentially I'm going to do that in combination with lifting up on this and somehow come on there we go and somehow uh, the bolt will line up and I'm going to shove it in there so I don't have a camera stand phone stand or something so I'm just going to I need both hands so let's see if I get it alright uh, it wasn't as hard as I thought so what I did is I rotated my body around and I put my foot on the, the tire here and rotated and pushed on it until I got this bad boy in the position I need to be in. And you can see it's not totally lined up, but I got the bolt in the hole. As you can see. So now I can bang it in a little bit. Next part we're looking at is right. Let's see if I can get that. It's right here. This section. It's not lined up. It's off by quite a bit. So I think so. The way that the axle housing is situated, it's this way or that way. I'm gonna have to push forward on that wheel over there to move the whole housing this way this way which is going to move this thing into position I think I don't know how I'm going to do that plus it's on two different sides but that's what the goal is I'm going to keep working alright I'm here getting this lined up and what I realized that is that this is a rubber boot Where's that, camera? There's that rubber boot I can I can move this enough to make it line up so that's what I want to do Let's see if I can get it to go alright so it's up against there now let's see if I can there we go clicked it in now it should be coming out of here I'm not left-handed. Damn it. Come on. There it comes. Alright. There she blows. Now one of these bolts. These nuts goes on there. It didn't have a washer or anything on it, so. I don't know why this thing focuses on the wrong part. Sorry guys. It is a, a lock bolt nut or whatever. And I think it's got. Anyway, there you go. There's the back. Let's see if we got. All right. Now we're just putting the nuts on these bolts up here. Oh, that's from the. Uh, that's not the right bolt. This is the right bolt. Alright, I'm just gonna tighten these babies down. And I'm gonna I put I don't have whatever this is, wrench, what size it is. 
it's uh, 15 sixteenths. I don't have a long wrench like um, this type, you know, to put it on it. So what I'm doing, I ideally you would put a wrench on it, on this one, and then tighten down. So I'm using my handy dandy adjustable wrench here, and uh, hitting it with the old thing down. Wow, that's just a terrible. There we go. Now you can see it. That's how that goes. But I need two hands. So. Okay, we're over here on the other side. I got these bolts out here the control arm and so I just threw it out and uh, over here I had to take off the I had to take off this on this side as well and on this side I had to go old school because the differential was in a way I couldn't get my impact wrench in here so I had to go old school but uh, luckily mine weren't too bad and, and I put the uh, Um, shit, I don't know why this thing focuses on what it was focused on. There we go. No? Maybe not. Anyway, they're not bad. And I did put a little, uh, PB Blaster on there. Liquid wrench, whatever. And that, actually the first time I tried it, I just used my ratchet. And uh, I just didn't have leverage enough under here to put on this. So I used my breaker bar and broke them loose. I really turned it like a quarter turn, like maybe a quarter turn or half a turn with the breaker bar. And then I was able to get it out. So I'm going to go get the new one. I knew what we did over there. I'm going to put those two bolts in and then move the tire back and forth until we get the the positioning we need to get the back to line up so all right time to go get that bad boy okay i just put all the bolts in everything is it's a little bit easier to line up on this side i guess since the other one's already in everything was pretty much lined up i did have to shift that way to get this thing to go to get the bolts to line up over here the whole thing so that's the end bro I'm gonna tighten these down I'm gonna tighten them down and then I gotta put the steering drag link fire rod people call it different things I'm gonna put that back in tighten these nuts up the nuts right there put it on there all right and then we're gonna go for a test drive and it's gonna take me a minute because these again i can't i can't use the impact on them i'll have to do it by hand so all right okay everything's installed i tightened up everything i did have a little bit of trouble on these uh tie rod ends uh when i was taking it apart I loosened the bolt while the taper was down in there. I, I loosened that bolt so whenever I hit it with a hammer, it would pop out. So let me one ish here you can see that there better. So I, I banged it on the flat surface here until it popped out. And so I had the bolt on there to kind of hold it in place or whatever. And then I went to turn the bolt off the rest of the way here. And the whole thing started turning so if you have that issue it's pretty easy to do what you do is you just reinsert the tie rod in into the tapered part and all the surface area of that taper 
even if it's not like fully installed it'll hold hold that and the bolt still so you can get the nut all the way off so but I'm good to go here I have torqued down all these bolts and I gotta clean up all my tools dry them off and then I'm going on a test drive uh, one other thing I did have to address I didn't cover on the video there this is the vent line from the axle housing it's right there comes out Damn, I just focus on here it's the lighting I guess anyway it comes out of the axle housing there and it was zip tied here so I replaced the zip tie she's, she's all good now so Alright, hey, uh, doing my test drive here, my radius arms, I'm about to get on uh, US-1 here, navigating 55 here, trying to merge, and I already got a good feel for how the, the radius arms feel at uh, like 45 or so, they, they do real well, the, the centering of the steering wheel is, is uh, dramatically improved. This will be my first time up around 70. So uh, here we go. Before it was all kind of uh, wandering on the road a little bit. I mean, you could easily control it, but it. Uh, Stoked. 